Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the head of communications Volkswagen brand, Pike von Bestenbostel. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome to Berlin. Welcome to Volkswagen. Today it's polo time and we are very happy that you are joining us today for the premiere of our new polo. With us today are our CEO, Dr. Herbert Dies, his colleague and board member, Dr. Frank Welch, responsible for technical development and design, and our chief designer, Klaus Bischoff. These three gentlemen will present the car to us. Dr. Dies makes the start. Dr. Dies, the floor is yours. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's uh, very good to see you all here in Berlin. Uh, we are almost in the middle of 2017, and as you are probably noticing, our brand is speeding up. We have started launching the most extensive product campaign in Volkswagen's history. Almost every month, we will be presenting a new car. That means more than 10 new models worldwide only in 2017. Here in Europe, we started with the Golf. Recently, we have launched the Arteon, and today we are presenting the all-new Polo. The small car segment is highly important, especially for volume manufacturers like us. In 2016, the world market for small cars amounted to 7.5 million units, and the market will continue to grow. Above all, in the growing markets like Brazil, India, Russia, South Africa, small cars play a very important role worldwide. And our Polo is a key player in this segment and a strong pillar of the Volkswagen brand. Since uh, 1975, and you've seen uh, the first uh, the models outside, since 1975, we have brought five Polo generations to life. We have produced and sold more than 14 million units. And in terms of sales, the Polo is our second model besides the Volkswagen Golf. And it is the market leader in its segment, both in Western Europe and in China. The story behind the Polo is quite simple. It stands for all the well-known Volkswagen values. It's a car for everyone a classless car. It is a benchmark for technology and performance in its class. It provides safety, comfort, performance, fuel efficiency for every day, and it offers great value for money, maintaining high residual values. And uh, the new Polo is reaching out even for more. As you know, Volkswagen is determined to be the leading volume manufacturer in terms of technology, quality, and design. And that is why we have developed the most advanced small car ever. Thanks to the innovative MQB platform, the new Polo offers the same technology that you know from the Golf. The Polo from now on plays in a higher league. It is safer. It is even more fun to drive. It gives more space for all passengers and their luggage. It is equipped with more digital features than any other small car. And the design is much more dynamic and emotional. With that, we think the new Polo will set new standards in the small car segment. And we will win new customers and gain market share in a highly competitive market. Ladies and gentlemen, we are happy and proud to present to you the all-new Polo. Here it is, our great small car. Life is a game of dice. Just try it out. Jump, run, believe in yourself, believe in others. Give it a go, be brave, stop. Not that brave. Live, love, cry, or the other way around. Chill out, brave up. 
make mistakes, learn from them, make more mistakes, stay cool, not that cool, live your dream, or just dream, don't ask questions, give answers, be there, change something, grow up, not too grown up, your music, your style, your life, whatever you do, take care of yourself. The new polo. The all-new Polo defines a completely new level for subcompact cars with impressive design and innovative technologies. The all-new Polo has truly grown up. You get more space and more Polo than ever before. It offers real value and is always a safe choice. The all-new Polo has its own individual style and is great fun to drive. Perfection can be exciting too. The all-new Polo. Driven by emotion. The all-new Polo. Terrific, no? I think it's a terif terrific color. <laughs> Yes, uh, I think it is the ultimate small car. With the MQB platform, the Polo has taken a giant leap forward. The design is much more dynamic and uh, powerful. I think the proportions help a lot. The wheelbase is longer, the car looks better, and is more fun to drive. I have to say, much more fun to drive than the predecessor. The Polo is much more digital as well, for example, it is the only small car that offers a fully digital cockpit. You might have a look later inside. And the Polo comes with a whole range of different engines. Very important, our fuel-efficient diesel engines are equipped from now on with CR, SCR, and uh, uh, catalytic converters. The latest generation of gasoline engines will soon be fitted with particle filters as well. And we are offering, uh, as a first in this Polo, a natural gas powertrain, which is unique uh, in this small car segment, and I think from uh, uh, utmost importance for our Italian market, which is very strong on natural gas engines. Ladies and gentlemen, in, in terms of uh, technology, the new Polo plays in really in a higher league. Uh, on the street, it is, I would say, a face in the crowd. In a nutshell, the Polo sets new standards in the small car segment. And uh, my colleagues, Frank Welch and Klaus Bischoff, will now tell you more about this great small car. Polo brings leading innovations to the subcompact class. The Polo is equipped as standard with front assist and pedestrian warning to help avoid accidents. The Polo offers a new user experience, digital and individual for greater driving pleasure with every mile you travel. 
smart sustainability with a new generation of TSI, TDI and TGI engines for dynamic performance. Once again, the Polo sets a new benchmark in its class. The all-new Polo, leading by innovation. Please welcome the member of the Board of Management for Development, Volkswagen brand, Dr. Frank Welsch. Yeah. yeah, ladies and gentlemen, also warm welcome from my side here in Berlin and here with the all-new Polo. As Herbert Dies already indicated, the new Polo is really packed with a whole lot of innovative technologies. And the reason for that is very easy. We decided, when we started to develop that car, to use the innovative MQB platform that you all know from other cars like Golf, like Tiguan, like Passat, and so on. And using this MQB, this exactly has enabled us to use the most innovative car body layouts on the one side, and on the other side to use the most innovative technologies yeah, that some of you will, sh will know. The, for the others, I'm going to explain for that. I developed a lot of cars, but also cars in that class, in the subcompact class, but never before. You know, I know a car, and also we at Volkswagen, never before we built a car with such exacting technical specification. Today, I could talk an hour for that, but as I only have some couple of minutes, I'm going to focus on four important topics today. First of all, what is important for the customer on the first glance is the design. This will be focused, of course, by my colleague Klaus Bischoff. What is secondly behind and under this good and perfect design and dynamic design is the package. The package of that car moves one step beyond. You have more interior space than ever before and than most and more interior space than any competitor in that class. The most important change in that in that area I'm going to explain later, yeah, but you will feel this is one class beyond. Secondly, the new infotainment systems. You've seen that before on the screen. I'm going to tell you more details in a minute especially on this latest generation of the second generation of this active info display we developed and has world premiere here in that car. Third point I'm going to mention is these uh, assistant systems you found in that car, yep. because these are pioneering driver system systems. Front assist is just one example of this. And last but not least, my fourth point, efficient engines. A new addition here, as just mentioned by Herbert Dies, is this natural gas TGI engine you find for the first time in that class in the Polo. I think, and I'm sure, with this technical concept, the new Polo defines the normal vehicle class boundaries and sets new standards. This is also typical for Volkswagen when we come with all new cars here. So let me come and start with the dimension, as already said. The Polo is just over four meters long, so a little bit longer than before, but still in the four meter class. Important, you may have noticed from your perspective, it's almost seven centimeters wider, and this is important while you sit in the car. The wheelbase is also much bigger, and also the wheel diameter, you may notice right now, is also has been increased. The height of the new Polo on the other side has been slightly decreased. And this, as a total, results in much more dynamic proportions. From a customer perspective on the other side, the great thing is that thanks to this MQB packaging, we are able to make out of this much better use of the interior. To give you an example, although the roof is lower than its predecessors, the headroom inside that car is much bigger. On the front seat, you have a 15 millimeters more headroom, and on the rear seat, you have more than two centimeters more headroom, even although the car is smaller. Headroom is important, but legroom is interesting as well. So especially also on the second row, you have definitely much more legroom because of the wheelbase that increased. So the wheelbase increase, yeah, we used for another thing because passenger is one side, luggage compartment is the other side. Yeah? We know from our customers and clinics that 
that luggage room is important as well, also in that class. So what did we do? We increased it to, in comparison to the actual polo by 25%. In real numbers, we reach more than 350 liters now. This is what you compare more or less to the golf class. This is 70 liters more than before, and that really defies vehicle class boundaries to that. Next topic is the equipment, the technical equipment inside the car. And I think on board, I'm sure on board, our customers get the equipment, the functionality, the connectivity, and style they want. And take this second generation of this active info display, for example. The new Polo is the first car worldwide in this class to feature these new technologies. Also at Volkswagen, we still have it, we still have other active info displays in other cars, but the next generation, the second generation, has its world premiere here. It's an enhanced uh, system. It impresses with additional information in that, with different views and screens, and with an amazingly crisp graphics. The whole Polo's high-end cockpit gives us a taste of a new era of simple controls, which is important, an era in which using digital technology and connectivity is more intuitive than ever. That's why we have given the dashboard a completely new layout. The infotainment system display is the centerpiece of this digital world. The touch screen, which, by the way, is, goes up to eight inches in diameter, is now positioned right at the top of the dashboard. So it provides perfect visibility and ergonomics. You reach it for this touch display, you see it, it's crispy and clear and perfect. What is the result of this cockpit? Just what we want, easy to use, intuitive and easy to use. Just get in that polo, start the engine and gear off. So when you start the engine and you go, so what about while driving? What you can discover while driving? I think the polo has a lot to offer when it comes to driver assistance systems. Because before you talk, of course, before we talk about driver, assistance system, we can talk about driving. The handling of that car yeah, is a huge step beyond what we know today from Polo. This is also thanks to MQB, by the way. The handling, the steering, the performance of that car yeah, from the smallest version with the smallest engine up to the GTI is much better than everything that we had before in that class. Back to the systems. We have, uh, have a long range and a long list of assistance systems. The most of them you know from Golf or Tiguan. But I'll give you an example, you know, what is quite important, what is necessary to have in that class from our perspe perspective. We were offering even the basic model, we call it Trendline, with front assist traffic monitoring system. This is including, this system is including the city emergency braking and here in the Polo class with a pedestrian monitoring system. So we can detect pedestrians and do the city emergency braking. So this is high technology in that car. If you choose a higher line than trend line, also the driver alert system is included as a standard. Further driver assistance systems are available at reasonable prices in that car. I give you an example of this adaptive cruise control, for example. This system automatically keeps the car at a set speed and a set distance from the, distance from the vehicle ahead. And in Polos, if that Polo is equipped with a dual clutch gearbox, this ACC even remains active in the stop and go traffic. So it stops and it starts again automatically under certain circumstances. By that, it increases safety significantly. It's the statistically proven that this sensor-controlled automatic braking feature, by the way, the sensor is here, behind our logo, by the way. It's statistically proven from everything we know from Golf, for example, that this system you know, uh, is a safety system because it reduces the rear-end collisions, in the case of the Golf, by, 40, for, by 45%. This is proven from real life. And now we have this as standard, not as standard, optionally here in the Polo. Another safety system I want to mention for the new Polo is the lane change assistant, which we call blind spot monitor. We have radar sensors in the back of that car. They detect any vehicles approaching from behind that are in the blind spot. 
And if it detects, the, bli the blind spot monitor warns the driver via an indicator in the respective uh, wing mirror outside. You see a logo and it's warning. So by this, you can therefore avoid accidents when passing, especially on motorways. Last but not least, we have integrated rear traffic alert. Probably all of you are familiar with this uneasy feeling when we get, when we're backing out of a parking space or a driveway into moving traffic. Often it's simply impossible to see of a, whether a bicycle or a car is approaching from the side. That, however, is precisely what rear traffic alert does, because it has its sensors right at the back in the bumper, so it effectively looks around the corner wants the driver and, which is important, and applies the Polos brakes automatically if necessary. So this is driver assistance. So ladies and gentlemen, after hearing me telling you everything about assistance, uh, about active driver um, displays and so on, you will be probably wondering about the price of the new Polo. I'm happy to tell you maybe lower than you're expecting, because in Germany, the Polo will start at just 12,975 euros. And this is quite impressive for what you get here. What you always get, even for 12,975, is an engine, one of nine different engines. So we will have six, we'll be offering six different petrol engines. There will be four one-liter engines. They range from 65 to 115 horsepower. We will also have this new 1.5 liter engine, four cylinder engine with 150 horsepower. You heard of that? We had this presentation on that new, all new engine a couple of months ago. And you probably wonder what is the engine of the GTI? This is a two liter engine delivering 200 horsepower. This is the right thing you need for a GTI. On the other hand, the range of system is rounded off by two 1.6-liter engines, diesel engines. They are delivering 80, respectively 95 horsepower, and both of them are fitted with the SCR catalytic converter, which is another world premier in that class, is another first in that class. Last but not least, as mentioned before, the Polar will also will be available with a new TGI engine. This is a natural gas engine. It's the first time that we are offering in a, the natural gas engine here in the Polo. It comes with 87 grams CO2. It delivers 90 horsepower. It's efficient yet dynamic and turbocharged, of course, that in average consumes a mere 3.1 kilograms of natural gas. This respects to this 87 grams. So, Overall, ladies and gentlemen, the new Polar is not only more sustainable, more comfortable, more dynamic, more spacious, and of course also safer than its successful predecessor. It also has become more digital and offers more variety. We have achieved this, pl this plus in variety by offering strong packages such as airline. You have seen this before, this airline car. We have a black and style in addition to also these, to the normal standard model lines. So you have a great variety. More variety also means that we have remixed the classic Polo to come up with new models. And one is quite interesting, yeah, for a lot of customers, for a lot of younger customers, this is the new Polo Beats. The Polo Beats features a sound system, a very strong sound system under the Beats logo, which features 300 watt. And you can see it from the exterior as well, so we call this whole model Polo Beats. And that is precisely what you're going to show you now. Thank you very much. A charismatic appearance that sounds good. The all new Polo Beats, fueled by music. Please welcome Klaus Bischoff, head of Volkswagen Brand Design. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Two weeks ago, I found a letter in my post box that had a special stamp on it. 125 years 
automobile. For me, it's an incredible story about 125 years of innovation and design. The Polo in its sixth generation is a story about pure innovation too. It is setting the frame from the first glance, from every detail, from every perspective, that the Polo reaches a new level, redefining its class. So, how did we achieve this? Let's have a closer look. As you heard already, the MQB is delivering outstanding proportions to us designers. And that is essential. Do we have great proportions? Then we can create a great design. Huge wheels into the corners, short overhangs, a very fluent bonnet, very nice roof line, fast A post, substantial C post, stretch window graphic, a typical Polo genetic code is, of course, the three window graphic yeah, that you've seen on a lot of Polo generations already. And the special kick up that we have in the, in the back and in the front. This elongation of the body that is delivered by the proportions, uh, we do underline with strong design elements, but only a few. Uh, we have one line that is very important to us. It's the little groove here. Maybe the camera can co uh, code this. And this leads throughout the whole roof and then is connected to the shoulder seam that I will explain in a few seconds. Second line that is essential to us is our line that is connecting the headlights or the bonnet, it's defining the strong fender, and this is elongated into, fastly into the window graphic. And this is giving the car its wedge, yeah? and the, this line is also going outboard, so defining this surface, defining this light surface, yeah? and it's giving the car width and presence. The most important design feature of our new Polo is our combination, and that is unique, our combination of the shoulder element with the character line. So, first time that we have a line that is defined so precisely and is so emotional, uh, creating a side design uh, that is, yeah, I have to say, I like it very much, <laughs> of course. The team did a great job. And this is, this is also pronouncing this very soft wheel arches that is very nicely connected to the flank. Yeah, so only a few lines, only the shoulder element, a little remembrance of this element on the lower, and that's it from the side. So perfect proportions, very fluent lines and you define a very strong character. The Polo had always a strong facial presence, and the new one should stand out on the road as well. So we gave it uh, a very fluent connection of the A-post into the bonnet, and you can see the, the bright, powerful bonnet and the sharp crease lines. And we elongated the bonnet even more yeah, to press the face down to the road. And all this is highlighted, of course, with a, a very nice uh, light signature that is combined with the grill. And you see that every line is connected to another one. So a logic, clear approach, a face that stands out. This car will be so easy recognizable on the road, yeah, everybody will say, oh wow, that's a new Polo. The front bumper yeah, should have a very wide presence, yeah, a huge lower air intake to pronounce the sporty character of this product. And on top, we added splitters yeah, to give this car its sporty approach. On the rear, we defined the Polo genetic code new. We created a very logic connection 
between uh, an array of elements. You see this very sharp line that goes around the corner and is transported by the light signature. So you, you underline, even in the night, this strong shoulder seam. And this is very neatly performed. Yeah, this is precision, quality, and presence. And for me, it's uh, the best polo uh, presence that we created so far. Uh, and this new light signature that uh, will stand out yeah, when, when the car is in front of you. Yeah, again, you will easily recognize it. On the interior, we tried to come up with a complete new approach. It's the first fully digital cockpit that we are presenting to the world. And you have all digital content on one level. Yeah, that is something that is unique and special to us. Uh, and in this cockpit, you also have uh, yeah, a certain freshness. It's new. It feels new. When you drive this car, uh, you will feel in a different world. Uh, up to now, we had stacked interior designs. So component on top of con component on top of component. Now we have a very wide screen design uh, enhanced by a colorful uh, decor element that is suiting inside and out and is combining into uh, a very, very nice product. So, ladies and gentlemen, the new cool, the new polo. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. I think it was an impressive presentation. Uh, you can be proud of your product. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, for sure, the new Polo comes to the market as a full family. You will get uh, diesel engines, gasoline engines, natural gas engines, and of course, we will also come with a new GTI. There's a lot of GTI fans around the world. Uh, they love the GTI brand. And they, I tell you, they will really love the new Polo. Thanks to the MQB technology, it is more, this Polo is more GTI than ever. It is now a real GTI, very compact, very, very precise, a stiff body structure, precise chassis, a very precise uh, um, a steering. And uh, it comes with 200 horsepower on board, and it now takes you from 0 to 100 in only 6.7 seconds. I think it's really a sharp drive. I've driven the car quite a lot. I love the car. And I think we all uh, should look forward to the new Polo GTI. We said, I think we also we are able to attack premium peers, competitors like the Mini or one or the other Audi A1. And uh, the official world premiere of the Polo GTI will take place later this year. But I think it's an obligation for us to show you the car today, so please take a look to your right. A really sharp GTI. I'm really, I'm really looking forward to that car. Will be one of my first choices. So, uh, will be an exciting additional event for this car later this year. Ladies and gentlemen, the new Polo is a great small car. I hope that we could uh, bring that over to you. I think with young, sharp design, with uh, new colors, uh, and with a new, fresh, and colorful design in the interior. With that, the Polo will remain the number one in Germany, Western Europe, and China, and we will enter new markets. In a few months, we will launch the new Polo in South America as well. It is a major building block of our comeback story in the uh, Latin American region. And I'm sure the Polo has all it takes to become the global leader in the small car segment. 
Ladies and gentlemen, today the Polo is our hero. It's another milestone of our extensive product campaign, but there is much more to come in the coming months. Above all, we will push forward with new exciting SUVs. You are already familiar with the Atlas, the Terramont, and the Tiguan Allspace. Soon, we will present another brand new SUV, very important to the brand to further emotionalize the brand. It will be the T-Rock. By 2020, our portfolio will include 19 SUVs worldwide. 40% of our market offering will be SUVs. I, our goal is, uh, and uh, all that product offensive will, will help us to defend the market leadership in Europe and in China, to become a relevant volume manufacturer in North America, and to get back to the top in South America. From 2020 onwards, then, we start our electric car campaign, entering a new era of automobiles. And we will make the Volkswagen brand shine again. And we will become the world's most attractive volume brand. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you all, ladies and gentlemen. Shortly, the stage will be yours. It is time for talks and discussions. And for that, I would like to introduce you to some more gentlemen joining us today from Wolfsburg. I would like to start with Jürgen Stackmann, board member responsible for sales and marketing. The gentleman who is responsible for the development of this car, uh, he has taken over the entire responsibility for the product line small, that is Klaus Gerhard Wolpert, standing here on the front. Dr. Volker Tanneberger is with us, head of electric electronic, and Dr. Wolfgang Demmelbauer Ebner, head of engine development TSI. And if you will, there is plenty of lunch. Enjoy the day, and you please all have a safe trip home.